Hi there, if you'd like to create an animated logo or video animation for your YouTube videos, stay tuned, watch this video all the way to the end as I show you two methods to do so. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com, part of your five a day for YouTube goodness. Now, if you'd like to create a cool logo animation, just like the one you have seen a few seconds ago, then I've got two methods to enable you to do so. Now, both of these are paid methods, as the free methods aren't exactly great and you don't get good results with them. So without further ado, let's head on over to the computer as I show you both of them. Okay, so the first place we're going to go is this site here, which is Video Hive. Now, these guys have millions, of, probably millions and millions and millions of video files, definitely hundreds of thousands anyway, that you can choose from and then uh, customize for yourself. Now, if you're wondering how to get these, the links will be in the description below or in an annotation at the end. So you don't need to worry about trying to find them. The uh, If you are looking for them, the links are in the description. So uh, we are at Video Hive. So what we want to do is to go to here, the After Effects Projects Files, and then Logo Stings. Now, if you do happen to have this, uh, some other software like Apple Motion or something like that, you can definitely go there. But for the most part, After Effects is the most popular software available for this. Now, if you don't have After Effects or don't even know what it is, uh, don't worry about it. I do have a tip at the end of this video to show you how you can get your logo included in the videos. So, as I mentioned, uh, so we've got 6,313 After Effects logo stings. Now, we're not gonna go through every single one of them. What you can do is you can type in here what you're looking for. Um, so say you have a medical company, so you could put in medical or corporate or stuff like that, and then do a search. You also have categories on the side. So if you click on categories, so you can see we've got uh, 1,459 in abstract. We've got uh, 1,199 in 3D uh, objects. And then we've got 368 in light, 242 in grunge etc 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 so you can uh, narrow your search down there that way you can also go with tags so you can have an opener or a logo or an intro stuff like that so you can uh, narrow it down with the tags as well so when you have your selection made you can basically hover over these and it will play a brief video so this is this one here, circular triangular thing, which is very sort of retro. So it gives you a sampler of what your video is going to look like. So you can do this with all of them, hover over. So this one has images and then the logo reveal at the end. And some of them have a number of different versions, like this one has another version here. and another reveal. Uh, I think it's got another version now. Yeah, it's got a version two. So you can see different versions to see which one uh, takes your fancy. And basically what I do when I'm going through here is I'll just open this up, up into a new tab, then I'll keep them open, then go into, look at them in more detail. So as I said, you can hover over these, look at the, the quick videos, do, 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 do. So here's a nice one here. Very, this would be good for a media company, something like that. Here's one that's quite calm. Would be good for a corporate company. So let's open this up in a new tab. So here we have the elegant corporate logo. And again, we have our video here and we can play this again. So you can see what your logo is gonna be like now. When uh, the stings or these intros have audio on them, you need to check to find out if the audio is included in the file. Because what this is, this is an After Effects file, which is owned by Adobe. Uh, and it is, you can see what it does. It creates nice effects like this. So what you basically do is you just add your logo 
and then render that out and it creates the whole video with your logo in it. Now, these files don't necessarily include the audio. So you need to check on the page itself whether the audio is included. So let's scroll down. Okay, so it says here the audio can be bought from here. So you need to buy the audio separate to add it to your video. So this is only $11, which is a fantastic price. So let's open up the audio here. And this is $7, so. So in total, it's gonna cost $18, which for uh, setting this up is not a big amount of money at all. Uh, but if you're doing loads of different videos and you want different things, then you're gonna have to go back and find another one. But either way, um, that's where you can go in there. So that's Video Hive. And you can find literally thousands upon thousands of different files to choose from. Now, the second way that we've got is a site called Videos. Now, this is just been released. And in here, it sort of cuts down the, uh, the need to go through and find different things. We've got, uh, we've got logo stingers, we've got outros, we've got social, we've got intro, we've got transitions all of this in here. So I'm just gonna go with the logo stinger because that's what this video is about. Now we have a number uh, of quite cool options here. If you do a mouse over, it'll do uh, render a quick video for you. So there's a quick reveal of a logo. Then we have a book reveal logo there like that. Then we have this one here, which is bouncing balls, which is quite cool. And then the logo reveal at the end. We've got a box one, and we've got a circular one. This is the one I quite like here. So with this one, you don't, you can actually create it yourself. You don't need any external uh, third parties to do anything for you if you don't have any specialized software. All we need to do is click on create. And it's three steps. We just give it a name, so video. We find our logo, so I'm gonna find my logo here. Take this one. And then we can change the colors that we have on the animation. So at the moment they are yellow and blue. So let's change this to a sort of dark red and then change this to black like so. Then click on continue. And then it's gonna ask me to confirm that I want to create this. Click build video. Then it's got a little video here telling me that my video is being baked. It's in the oven and it should be ready soon. Then all I have to do is go to my videos and I can see here the render process. So at the moment um, it's being rendered, but this doesn't take long. It actually literally takes about two minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so our video is now finished and we can see that this is a three second uh, stinger video, which is quite cool. Because one thing I recommend is that you keep your intros as short as possible. No one wants to see a 10 or 20 or 30 uh, second intro that is of no value to them whatsoever. So uh, to download, we just uh, hover over here and we can click this. One thing about this as well is that we also get the audio that goes with it. So if I open this up in a new tab, so we have our video there, we can see that. So I can download my video, I can download my audio and then put it in my video editing software and I have my stinger. And of course I can go back and I can create as many of these as I want. Uh, the beauty about this service as well is that we have outros, and again, we do a mouse over. We also have social, we also have some intros as well. So you can see them. And you also have video transitions too. So if you wanted to use the circular one, here is the video intro for that. And we also have a diagonal one and stuff. And they're always adding to this as well. As I said, the links for these are in the description or on an annotation on this video at the end. So go check them out. They're definitely worth it if you want to add a nice video intro with some cool graphics to your YouTube videos. So there you go. Those are the two methods you could use to create video animations for your YouTube videos. Now with the first method, if you don't have Adobe After Effects or access to it, you can actually get somebody to edit 
the file from Video Hive on Fiverr.com. That's F I V E R R.com. You can get somebody to customize the After Effects file with your logo or image and then send back to you the finished video. So it'll be about five or ten bucks for them to do so for you, depending on what you want done. And as you can see, the second method, videos, is a far better option as you have unlimited videos that you can create, as well as the option to create outros and other animations as well. And you get all that for a one-time investment. Plus, you can do it yourself. You just upload your logo and you let the software do all the work for you and then send you your video. So with whichever one you want to use, the link is in the description below. Go ahead and click that and you go straight through to the site to find out more information about either of these options to create those video animations for your YouTube videos. Now, when you go and use one of these, let me know about it in the comments area below. I'd love to see your video and what you have done. If you have a question about this, and I'm assuming there will be quite a few, also stick that in the questions area below and I'll help you as best I can to get that question answered. Like, share and favorite this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not? It's free. Click the red subscribe button right there or anywhere else on this page, especially on mobile, to subscribe to get more videos like this every week to help you with your YouTube goodness. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed creating it for you. My name's David Walsh, gluten and sugar free.